What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I'm going to open up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Force of the Breaker Special Edition box for you guys. So yeah, this is a uh, very hard to find box nowadays. It's one of those rare special editions, of course, because it is from the GX era. You get Force of the Breaker, but not only that, in the special edition you also get one pack of Invasion of Chaos. So it is around that era where they were trying out some of that stuff where they would have a GX pack. You get two of those, and then also an older pack that was reprinted. So I always thought that was a really cool idea, how they did that with some of the earlier special editions. And it makes them really fun to open, but also uh, tough to find. Like, seriously, uh, I'm probably going to be eating ramen noodles for the rest of this week. It was not the cheapest box, I'll put it that way. But yeah, I know I've seen requests on everything too, so let's go on ahead, open it up, and uh, see what we get from it. Also too, I did get this from Big and Collectibles. I will have a link to them down in the description. But, yeah, I remember seeing requests for this. And, again, it is a really good special edition because Invasion of Chaos. I mean, seriously, that's amazing. But Force of the Breaker is probably one of my favorite packs from GX. I mean, you get volcanics from it and a lot of different stuff, too. But, obviously, I always remember those volcanics. Oh, cool, it's this version of it. It has the... <laughs> where it actually has the boxes. Because there are some... They're the flat ones, you know, where you have to actually peel them off there. It's a pain to open. So, yeah, this one actually is a printing where they're in the special edition boxes, which we're used to. We see these all the time now. So, there's the promo cards and everything, too. And uh, let's get to it. Also, if you guys are enjoying the opening or you want to see more older openings like this, let me know by hitting that like button. Because I'm trying to get a lot of older openings lately. Especially GX era, it seems like. Because, I don't know, just enjoy GX packs lately. So uh, be sure to leave a like to show that you want to see more content like this. And I'll try to hunt down more packs. If you have any requests, too, let me know. This might be the Euro printing. I think they, they might be like that for this. I'm not really sure. But anyway, for our promo, we have a Phantom Beast, a Rock Lizard. The other one was Winged Rhinos that you can get. And then there's our three packs. So remember, you are not guaranteed a Hollow either. You don't even get a Hollow in Rare from these. These are actually Olders, GX. So we're going to work for our Hollows today. Volcanic Blaster, Tornado, <laughs> scary to have around here in Texas, <laughs> and then uh, we have Triggered Summon, Crystal Beacon even, yeah, a couple of the Crystal Beasts are in this, I guess everything but Rainbow Dragon, I believe is in this. Maybe we'll get a Sapphire Pegasus or something, that'd be cool. I think we're trying to hunt those down back in the day. I was so happy when they made a 10 for it, because <laughs> then I just bought three of the 10, I was like, there, I got my play set. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And, oh cool, we did get a hollow. I thought I saw something from that. Yeah, we actually got the Monarch, uh, Rise of the Storm Monarch. That is awesome, too. I remember that being one of the main cards from the set because, first of all, uh, Monarchs are always good. They were good back in the day. They're pretty good nowadays. It's just, I, I kind of wonder if they're going to get some kind of new support or something. Maybe with the ban list, give them a little bit more of a break. But Ryza is, like, one of the best of the Monarchs, at least second best because Caius is awesome, too. But I remember so much hype with this card, and you can barely even tell it's holographic, too. It, like, has a little bit of shine kind of on his waist and then on his head, and that's about it. So that is awesome, though. That's, like, one of the best cards of the set. More Crystal Beasts and stuff, too. An Invasion of Chaos. Okay, I'm hoping we get something really cool from one of these Invasion of Chaos packs, because let's talk about, like, one of the most iconic packs in the game. Crystal Forbidden Spell. Gigantes. And uh, Robin Zombie. Tower of Babel as well. Not bad. Even Blazing and Pachi. <laughs> I remember I liked that card back then because of the story they had with him. Oh, okay. The only thing I don't like about opening things like this, special edition boxes, is because they have a ton of packaging. Like, seriously, <laughs> I guess it's good that your cards aren't just, you know, thrown in there, but uh, it might be a bit of overkill, especially that plastic right there. But yeah, here's the other promo, Winged Rhinos. Again, both promos were really kind of meh from this one, honestly. I wasn't uh, a big fan of them. There. Seismic Crusher. Oh. Did we? Yeah, already another hollow. I thought so. Again, you can tell. You can see how they're a little bit darker, so that's how I can kind of tell on this. But yeah, it is a Sky Scourge uh, Norlaris. Norlaris? I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. But again, this around the Era 2 where Super Airs were kind of weird, where it wasn't the whole card that was holographic. Like, pieces of it. So it's like these eye-looking things that are on him are holographic. Which looks pretty cool, but it always makes it really tough uh, to really know if you have a hollow or not. You have to pay pretty good attention. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> they can kind of throw you off. Nowadays, just the whole picture is holographic. Field Barrier, Amethyst. Then we have a Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. 
pretty good. That was another one I remember trying to hunt down. I think it's even an ultimate rare in this set. Maybe we'll get one. Oh, that'd be awesome. I don't think there's any ghost rares in these sets, but uh, you can get ultimate rares. Terra King. Here emerges. And... Yeah, we, we got an ultra rare! Oh man, I, I keep thinking I'm throwing myself off because I'm used to doing that. It's like, oh, I got hold. No, you don't. I, I've done that several times in my openings lately. It's, uh, okay, I can tell a lot easier with these packs, I guess. A Manticore of Darkness. That is awesome. I still remember the combo with that Nightmare Troubadour where you would keep drawing cards and everything and use uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon. And it was this stupid combo where basically Slifer would be just this, I mean, lived up to his name of being a god card because you would have insane attack for him. Basically, you would draw all your cards. I think it was like two of Manticore or something. I forget the exact combo. It's, it's been such a long time. But <laughs> that brings back some memories too because I remember doing that and I'm sure the computer hated me. <laughs> There we go. Another one of Rhinos. Here, let me kind of get myself a little bit more room. Man, I'm enjoying this box so far. I'm glad we're getting some hollows. I was honestly pretty nervous. Scattershot. Then uh, Archfiend General. That's the one you can discard for Pandemonium, so that's pretty good. Or is it? Yeah, okay. I thought so. I just wanted to double check myself. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to be wrong in a video lately. Yeah, I think this is the set where we had those monsters that you could discard and uh, search for a bunch of different field spells. Uh, another one, right afterwards. Archfiend General. <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. And Invasion of Chaos. So far, we're two for two on those. Let's see if we can keep that going. Oh, upside down. There we go. <laughs> DD Borderline. Ojama Yellow. And then a Dr uh, Drilago. Yeah, that's one of Merrick's cards. But yeah, unfortunately not a hollow, but you know what? <laughs> I, I figured we couldn't get all hollows from these. Oh yeah, even uh, Green Maju. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I think it's funny I've been seeing that card a lot more lately. I don't remember too many people using it back in the day, but now there's some combos where it's pretty scary. Not fun to go up against. Just banish everything and run you over like a steamroller. <laughs> all right. There. Finally got to our cards. Another one of Winged Rhinos, by the way. Let's switch up the order. Alright, Invasion of Chaos. Have Desk Kangaroo. Coach Goblin. Lord Poison, which was actually pretty good then. And then uh, we have uh, Gatsu... Or, yeah, Gatsu Fuma. I was reading it. I, I thought I knew his name without even reading it. So, yeah, I was correct. <laughs> That's one of my brother's favorite cards. It is pretty cool, too. Not bad. Also reminds me of, like, uh, Bleach. Like, uh, Zangetsu, <laughs> his sword. That's what it kind of reminds me of, too. Field Barrier. And then we have, oh yeah, uh, Warrior of Atlantis. I remember this card actually being really good back then, too. It's still decent, but when people were using Legendary Ocean a lot, and it was actually pretty competitive, this was a good rare card to have. Because, like, oh, I can search for that now. Remember, a lot of combos with that. That's so why I love these older openings. It gets that nostalgia going. And... Oh, okay, it's another rare. That one looked different. It is uh, Go Go uh, the Gallant Ninja. Think I'm saying that right? I'm not really sure. <laughs> All rares, unfortunately, from that one. Oh, well, we've had a good start with this so far. I'm still hoping, though, we're going to get... I, I don't think you're guaranteed anything. I'm hoping maybe we get a secret rare or two. And uh, mainly, though, honestly, I kind of want an ultimate rare. <laughs> just because. If I have a chance of getting an ultimate rare, I, that's what I go for. So, Especially since we don't have them in our main packs anymore. Rock Lizard. Oh, I keep opening them up upside down. Or maybe they are just upside down. We got Knave. Are you Koki? And uh, we have Mad Dog of Darkness. Pretty good back then, too. I mean, it was a weaker, or uh, level 4, I should say, with a 1,900 attacks. So you could actually summon him, and uh, obviously, like, one of the better level 4s back then. So, Okay. Field Barrier. Then, oh, man, I thought we had Doomfire. I saw that. I saw Volcanic. I was really hoping it was Doomfire, but we got a uh, Volcanic Slicer. That's a pretty decent one, too. You know what? I want a Link Monster for, for uh, Volcanics. I think that'd be cool. They got that one trap card, and all of a sudden we started seeing Volcanics actually doing well again. They have potential. I mean, 
maybe a Link Monster could uh, make them a little bit better. I don't know. And, yeah, we did get a hollow. Okay, that's another one. Uh, we have Tri-Blaze Accelerator. So, speaking of volcanics, there you go. You turn uh, Blaze Accelerator into Tri-Blaze, and that's the one that helps you get Doomfire. So, I always remember this a lot. My brother loves uh, volcanics. I mean, seriously, he still plays them. <laughs> so, uh, they are pretty fun. I've used them a lot, too, especially whenever, like I said, they got that trap card. What was it? Uh, Primal Origin. That was pretty fun. I used them with uh, Gym Knights, I remember, even. And actually worked well. <laughs> You could go for Citrine, I believe, is the, the Gem Knight Fusion. Nope. Uh, there. It wouldn't let go of them. Rock Lizard again, so I guess we got a playset of each of the uh, the promos. If that matters too much. And alright. Energy Drain. Hey, uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Can't go wrong with that. Then, we got another Ultra Rare. Man, Invasion of Chaos is awesome today! Uh, we have an Insect Princess. Pretty cool looking card. I always like the art style of it. I don't know. It just looks really cool. Remember another one of my friends uh, using this card too, and uh, mainly because she liked the artwork of it. So, but uh, yeah, that is awesome. I haven't seen this card in a while either. That is so cool. Crimson Ninja, as well. Well, there we go. We're getting our ultra rares. Uh, mainly our hollows are from uh, Invasion of Chaos. It seems like or the the higher rarity stuff. Maybe we can also get a secret rare from from one of those. Right, and, uh, oh yeah, Harpy Queen. I, again, that one looked darker. I thought I had something. But still, I remember this, like, it, at one time, I think it was, like, one of the more expensive cards of this set. Because I don't think it's been printed in a while. I think it's been reprinted since then, of course. But, uh, yeah, I remember when that card was actually, like, 5 or $6 by itself. I don't think it's close to that anymore. Scattershot. Then we have uh, Soul of Fire. There we go. Another super rare. At least we're getting a lot of super rares from our Forts of the Breaker. So uh, that's pretty cool. Another, uh, well, this one's more pyro type card, but it kind of goes with volcanics. Obviously, there's a little bit of a fire theme going on <laughs> with this set. All right. We still have a little less than half, basically. So I wonder what else we can get. Again, I'm... I was concerned that there would be a chance that maybe I just wouldn't get a hollow. Because I guess that can happen. Winged Rhinos. And Invasion of Chaos, as always. Alright, Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. Actually pretty good, especially back then. Soul Absorption. And we got another hollow! Oh man, and, and that, again, goes with our theme, uh, Big Burn. It's it's kind of, it's not a fire card, but the artwork and stuff's fire. So, <laughs> I like how it kind of goes with what we're doing. That is awesome. Well, there we go. That gives us another holo. And even a big koala. I remember liking that card, too. I remember trying to use that one. And, of course, uh, Master of Oz and all that, too, later on. That reminds me, we're going to have to get, like, Soul of the Duelist, uh, Rise of Destiny, and also a Fleming Eternity boxes. I kind of miss those three sets. They were pretty interesting. Oh, do we? Well, okay, we got a double. Man, I thought maybe it was like uh, the uh, Rare Value. That's the card name. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't think of it for a second. I thought it was a Crystal Beast draw card. But yeah, we actually got a double of uh, Soul of Fire. I'll take it. That's another hollow for me, so sure. <laughs> no complaints here. I'm just hoping I'm going to see, uh, you know, one of the main Crystal Beast cards, like Pegasus, or like I said, uh, Rare Value. I remember that being very tough to get from this. And I believe it's also an Ultimate Rare, so... That'd be good. Then a triggered summon. Not bad at all. All right. Well, okay. Let go of my cards. There we go. <laughs> Just let go of it. Yeah, my trash can's full next to me too, so I'm going to have to clean a lot of packaging stuff after this video. <laughs> because it's going to be a mess. There we go, Rock Lizard. Invasion of Chaos. Let's keep this going. We've had some really good luck with it lately. Let's see, Coach Goblin, Soul Absorption. And, okay, another rare. I'll take it. A Destruction Ring. Not Ring of Destruction, Destruction Ring. Uh, pretty interesting. Stumbling. Hey, that's actually a pretty annoying card. When, uh,. I think it's when you or your opponent, or maybe it's both on that, I'm not really sure. But uh, you summon a monster, it instantly goes to defense. So it's pretty good in some different decks where you would stall. 
That and also uh, that, what was it, like Dark Door, I think, which only makes a one monster could attack. Both those together is like an annoying combo, I remember. Then uh, we have Ancient Seed Rainbow Ruins. That's a field spell for the Crystal Beasts. That is also, I believe, an ultimate you can get from this set. So if we got that, that is one of the coolest looking ultimate rares. Backs to the wall. And, okay, another one of Archfiend General. That's kind of funny. I guess, yeah, we got a police set now. <laughs> That's interesting. We still have two more special editions as well. So what do you guys think we're going to get? You think we might be able to get a secret rare or something? Get a Black Lesser Soldier Envoy of the beginning? <laughs> now that, that would be pretty dang amazing <laughs> if I could get that. I am at least hoping, though, for like a Volcanic Doomfire. I believe it's an ultra rare, but uh, I would still definitely take it. We might also be able to get as an ultimate, so that'd be cool if I'm right on that. Okay, Chaos Sorcerer, another one of those. Can't have too many, really. Then another one, a Destruction Ring. I think I've seen this card already. <laughs> back to back. Come on, Force of the Breaker. I want to get something higher rarity than just a super rare from you, since it's your special edition, <laughs> but I'm getting the lower rarity cards from it. Then... Okay. Oh, I, I didn't notice it for a second. Yeah, he is an ultra rare. <laughs> for a second, I was looking through the camera. It looked like a rare to me. And I remember he was like a rare, I think, in the Jaden Duelist pack, the third one. So, yeah, this is actually an ultra rare. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice that for a second. I, I thought he was a rare for some reason. I was just looking through. I could not see the holographic. Well, there we go. We got Elemental Hero Captain Gold. That is awesome. And, of course, dude, this is the one that helps you search for Skyscraper. So, it's another one that helps you search for a field spell. And uh, it is an awesome card. It's Elemental Hero, so you know I'm going to be a fan of that. But yeah, I completely forgot it was an Ultra in this set. I just saw it, and it wasn't that shiny, and I was like, oh, rare, okay. <laughs> no, we did much better, and I thought, that's awesome. Well, there we go. Force of the Breaker did give me a, a higher Ruby card, more than just Supers. I'm pretty happy about that, then. I don't know why. I just saw that, though, and I, I could have sworn it was a rare. Then, uh, yeah, Destroyer Saurus. See, because all the other, like, field spell searching cards, I think, are all rares from this set. So maybe that's what I was thinking. Again, I think it was mainly that we did that Jaden open, opening uh, recently. It's been like a week or so, and he is a rare in that, too. So, <laughs> that's crazy, though. I'm glad I got an Ultra. Oh, there. <laughs> the box filled to pieces. And last special edition. So, what are we going to end with? Can we at least get one more hollow? That's what I'm hoping for. There, plastic wouldn't let go. Uh, winged Rhinos. And, you know what? Invasion of Chaos for last. We'll do that. All right, so first off, let's go with our Force of the Breaker. Part of the cards, help me out here. Let's end with something amazing. And uh, we got, uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Gravekeeper's uh, Commandant. So that's awesome. That's a searcher for a Necro Valley, obviously. So that was actually one of the better ones of the set, too. The other Force of the Breaker. Come on, Volcanic Doomfire. That's what I want. Or Sapphire Pegasus. Either one's great. Let's see, Volcanic Hammer. And uh, we got Firewall, which, again, going with our fire theme and everything, too. Pretty cool. That was a card I remember my brother using as well. I think with his Volcanics back in the day, of course. And last pack. Okay, it matters now more than ever. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Remember, leaving a like gives me uh, the, the strength I need to get my hollows. Or, again, I, I could be just using that as an excuse. You never know. <laughs> Am I being that YouTuber? Probably, but you never know. And, ah, oh, so close. I, I, one of you didn't like the video, so that's, that's right. I'm, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this was an amazing box either way, and a pretty cool card. How do you say this one's name, though? Uh, Lakunga? I think is how you say it. I remember, actually, I, I think this was a card I used back in the day, too. I don't even know if I said it right back then. Also, Salvage. That's a good comment. But, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We actually got quite a few hollows, not counting our promos. I mean, unfortunately, not a secret rare or an ultimate rare either, but I got, I think, more hollows than I should have, honestly, too. <laughs> so, yeah, we got Captain Gold, Insect Princess, and Manicore of Darkness, all ultra rares. Then we got Soul of Fire, Big Burn, Soul of Fire, uh, Tribal's Accelerator, Sky Scourge, and then also Ryza. So, yeah, no complaints here. An amazing box. So, of course, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. Again, let me know what the openings you guys like to see in the future, if there's any requests at all. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.